Hello, welcome. I am Nana. Today, we are going to have the most fun and paint one of my very favorite characters from Narnia. Yes, one of the main characters. Now, who is the character that everybody wants to be with and be like and loves? Well, of course, it's Aslan. So today, we are going to paint Aslan. Now, if you remember, I say paint because this pastel is really paint. It is powdered pigment and it has a fixative. And at the factory where they're made, they put the fixative in it and then they squash it really tight and they turn it into a stick of pastel. So, therefore, we always say we're going to paint. Okay? Now, there is a bit of playing with your, your painting today, meaning that once we get the lion features in, you're going to be able to be an artist yourself and add his beautiful mane. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm very excited and I'm glad that you're with me today. And what I would really like to know, who is joining us? Where are you from? Are you from London or Paris or Boise or New York City or somewhere in Texas? I don't care. I'm just glad you're here with us today. Now, let's get started. First of all, you need just a plain piece of copy paper. No tricks here, just plain piece. Underneath is a scratch sheet to help hold it down, okay? Uh, we need um, to use these colors pastel. Um, we need this. This is the most important color you'll need. Now, if you don't have the exact color of gold or it's not quite mustard. It was one of those French mustards, I suppose. It's kind of a goldish lion color, okay? We'll just go with that. That. Then there is a whitish beige. Believe it or not, this is a yellow. I have a bright orange, a red, a black, a dark brown and bright green for Aslan's eyes. And here's a white just for some accent. Okay, now I would like for you to like this lesson and this video and share it. And then I want you to share a picture of your completed Aslan. Upload the picture in the comments of this video. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you how I figured out and found how to make this out of this. Looks like a ball-headed lion. Believe me, we're going to turn this into Aslan. So, let's get started. Now, we're going to take our mustard color or gold color <clears throat> and we're going to make one circle, kind of a egg shape. Now, that wasn't hard. And then, underneath it, we're going to put two smaller circles. And underneath that is another circle. 
Now, sit back and just look. If you squint your eyes, you can almost see a lion already. Here is his, here are his cheeks. Here is his chin. And here is his nose right there. Now, to remind us that this is the head, I always like to do this because I'll think, okay, where did his head go? Makes him look like a clown here, but he's gonna start really looking better, okay? Next, we're going to, let's see, we're going to take our orange and we're going to fill in a little bit of color at the bottom of these two, three, excuse me, three circles. Don't do anything to it yet. Take your red and gently, gently, gently give him a red nose. All right. Then we're going to take our dark brown and we're going to make some eyes. All right. There's one eye. Actually, it's an eyelid. And here's another eye. See if you can get them as even across from each other as you can. Okay, now this is called your painter finger, right here. It already has chalk on it. Take your painter finger and here we go. We're smoothing in the orange. Just gently, gently, gently. Then we're going to take the dark brown, this is a dark brown, and we're gonna start on the mane. Now, this may look like crazy hair to you, but it's not really. And there's, let's make it kind of swing out this way. Okay. And it's going to come down a little bit right there. Now, because he has these orange sort of cheek places, we got to lighten that stuff up. It's just too dark. So we're going to take our white and we're going to make like an upside down C there. All right. Take your painter finger gently, gently. Look what you can do if you gently Mix these colors. There's darker on top for shading and lower than there is. Now, I've got the black in my hand. And we're still working on his mane. All right, then we're going to make his mouth, which is sort of like a diamond. And then he's got to have a place to breathe. Here are some nostrils. Just like that. 
and you just color these in. Now, we're going back to our mustard color and we're going to fill in on his face. Now, watch and observe, okay? Observe. That's all we're going to do right there. Because you're going to be able to smooth this in. Okay? Then we have the black. You know that you can stop this video and catch up with it. black and then down his nose there we go it's looking more like a lion isn't it all right now I think I'm going to try some yellow all right here we go try to see if you can Get the yellow on his face without getting any black into it. If you do, it's just fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can take your trusty painter finger and look. Isn't it amazing how it just all smooths together and you have this wonderful lion face? Taking the black again, we're going to define his mouth, and under here, he has kind of a bristly lion chin, okay? Now, this is where you get to be an artist. I haven't forgotten his eyes. We're going to get to them, okay? Take your orange. And let's make some of his wonderful mane. Okay, now that looks kind of crazy. But I'm going to show you something even more crazy, okay? See the orange? I'm going to lay it down right there. And then watch this. I'm giving him a background. And there's a reason why. Because this lion has been done by a painter, an artist, and you are the artist, okay? We're not through, we're not through, don't get upset, we're not through yet. Painter fingers, I would use two, because two is much more fun than one. Okay, and you can gently go over the part of the mane that you have already colored. Now, isn't he looking warmer and more Aslan-like? Okay, this is done by an artist. Remember, you are the artist. Now, we're going back to the brown and we're going to reestablish the mane. And he's going to look more like a lion. Not so much mane here at the top of his head, but he has this wonderful head of, oh, just look at this. He is a wonderful, wonderful lion. Now, I'm going to take the black, 
And I'm going to turn it on the side and very carefully just do that. See how lightly I did that? Then you take your black and you fill in some of his mane there and some over here. Just little spaces. Now, you're the artist. You may say, and then I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like putting too much black in there. But you go, you do what you want to do. That's what I encourage you to do. You think it out. You look at it and you see what you think your lion needs. Now I have some yellow. And because Aslan is a heavenly lion, he really is, we're going to give him some beautiful highlights, okay? And maybe some over here on this side. He's looking very kingly, I think. All right. Now, we can't just leave poor Aslan without his beautiful eyes. Now, the color choice is up to you. Lions have, they do have green eyes, just like cats, as you can see here. Okay, so take your green and you're going to fill in Eye area. You're not finished. Then take your black and you're going to put the pupil of his eye sort of up at the very top of his eyeball. Okay? There we go. Now, he's looking right at you, but you can put, if you want to, a life spark right there in the middle, and he really is looking right at you. So, let's see if we can finish Aslan up. And I think he is a magnificent lion. And you can, you are allowed to play with this and color on it and fix it the way you want to fix it. gave him too much of an eyebrow right there. See how you can, you can take your white and you can bring in colors all around him. Oh my goodness, he's such a wonderful lion and I know you've done a great job. And you can also give him a little bit of color in his mane there. Now, just because I'm Nana, I can do this. I'm going to kind of mess him up just a little bit so he doesn't look too perfect. I like for him to look like he's been out walking on the beach. And he's been looking for you. So, it's amazing, I think, how four circles turn into a lion. Look what we have done together. And it wasn't hard at all. I cannot wait to see your pictures.
your photos. Please upload them and let me see them. I want to see how you've done. See, here I go. I'm still messing with it. We started with a ball-headed lion. <laughs> a circle, a circle, a circle, and a circle. And look who came to visit. I know you've done a wonderful job. And I so thank you for joining us today. And I want to thank Apologia for having us because this is Aslan, who is a lion and part of their land animal book. He is a land animal. All lions are. And they have been so kind and we appreciate them letting us come and paint with you today. And I want you to, if you would, take your favorite, I'm going to use this one, your favorite pastel, and way down in the corner, sign your name. And then I want you to flip your picture over and name it Aslan or Lion and today's date. And then go show your family what you've done. I think it's wonderful. And tell them how you started with four circles and Aslan came to visit. Thank you for joining us. And always, always remember, you are an, an artist. artist.